Welcome to Travel USA. In this video, if you had the pleasure of visiting Sedona, Arizona, you're undoubtedly noticed that the rocks there are very, very red, normally sedimentary rocks. Rocks that are formed by the deposition and compaction of sediments aren't so visually stunning. So how exactly did the rocks of Sedona become so red? Well, we can thank iron for that. When the sediments that composes these rocks was deposited iron-rich groundwater, filtered through the open pore spaces between the grains and left the grains with thin coating of iron oxide. Iron oxide is simply a chemical compound that is composed to both iron and oxygen. You likely know of it as rust. This iron oxide coating is only one half of 1% of the rock's weight. So you can think of it the hard candy on the outside of a M&M. The iron from the groundwater came from the chemical weathering of iron-bearing minerals like hematite. When a sediments were bearing water chemically reacted with the iron in the minerals to rust out iron ions into solution after the iron-rich groundwater left. Its coating on the grains, the area experienced erosion, exposing this beautiful red rocks that we see today. You may have well noticed that there are some white bands and spots in the red rock. There are white horizon here because these grains are slightly larger. Then the, the other meaning that there is more pore spaces between them. Because of the larger spaces between grains, it is easier for the iron-rich groundwater to move through without leaving behind a stain on them. And now you know how the rocks of Sedona, Arizona got there. Beautiful red hues. Thanks for watching.